All right, so obviously I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I guess you have to turn your camera this way. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try this one more time. Um, live video is new for me, and the bottom line is, is most of the time when I uh, do a video on my computer, it is actually me with about 10 takes of me cussing like a, a sailor. So um, I'm gonna do this one more time. Uh, hi, I'm Wendy Irwin, and I wanted to talk a little bit today about something that I woke up at 2 a.m. this morning and was thinking about. I don't know about you, but sometimes 2 a.m. can work for me or can it work for or against me. So sometimes I wake up at 2 a.m. and then I rehash the entire day or a social event or something where I'm like, oh, I can't believe I said that out loud. Um, hi, Denise. Um, and then there are times at 2 a.m. where I wake up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a brilliant idea. And I'm hoping that this is one of those brilliant ideas. It may not, it may be highly mediocre, that's okay. Um, Denise, who actually is watching, told me that I talk really slow, which is so not me and in my videos, so I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. In the last video that I deleted, which was sideways, uh, I was asking people if there is a business method or a business model or some sort of um, tried and true ultimate business success that people have told you works and you've tried it and it just doesn't feel right. Um, for me, there is things like uh, having a business handle, like um, I'm the business innovator or I'm the, I'm the mosquito ninja or whatever. I cannot seem to get comfortable with that concept. I don't know why, it just seems disingenuous. It seems very markety and um, inauthentic and I don't know what it is about it. There are a lot of people I know, admire, I think are amazing and have wonderful bus business success that do that, but it is not something I ever, ever want to do. So you will not hear me saying things like that. But last night at 2 a.m., to get to the point, I was thinking, if you think of your business like a piece of paper, like a piece of origami paper, you, we all kind of start out as this blank slate uh, as a business, and it really is up to us how we mold and shape that business. Um, we could do something as, as generic and pedestrian as a paper airplane, which everybody can fold, everybody can, and yeah, you can get from point A to point B with that paper airplane, right? But some people don't really want to be a paper airplane. Maybe it makes sense for some people to be a crane, right? It just makes sense for them to go at their business a different way. Still the same sheet of paper, it's just utilized in a different way. They use different nuances. Things that work for them may or may not work for someone else. So for me, we all start as that blank piece of paper. We could also be a basket, right? Uh, you may think of yourself as something, somebody who's really pragmatic in a, an industry that's very floopy. Um, so things that everyone else in your industry is doing, you just don't feel comfortable doing because that's not who you are. That doesn't bring in the fullest expression of your experience and your perspective. All these things really make us unique in your business. Um, and sometimes you might just be something pretty. I mean, <laughs> you know, just a little ornament. But my point being is that we all start out in our businesses as a blank piece of beautiful origami paper and how we choose to present ourselves to the public and market ourselves to the public is our own is of our own making. And the more we listen to our heart when we're going in that direction, the more powerful and authentic our message is going to be. So what I am asking from you guys today is, is there a business, tried and true business practice that someone has told you you have to do over and over again that you have to be successful to do this way do it this way you have to be have to do this to be successful you have to do that if you want to get traction you have to do that and if those practices have just not felt right to you um, one of my biggest beefs a lot of times is time so with a lot of people the business day is from eight to five and but yet their their most productive time is from like eight to ten at night and and but nobody does business at that time of day so really just having to try to squeeze who you are into someone else's idea of what it is to be a successful business person. So I would love to hear you guys 
uh, give your two cents about what is like maybe one business practice that has always felt wrong to you, no matter how successful other people have been. Um, I would love to know because I'm actually thinking about starting a whole new conversation about this on a different page uh, next year because I think that this is something people aren't really talking about but it's because people always want to emulate people that are successful but the bottom line is is what worked for one person may bomb horrendously for someone else so really just listening to your heart and listening to what feels right to you may or may not be the best way out or up Anyway, thank you for listening. Um, I will talk to you next Monday, and I hope you have a great week. Thanks.